Hey guys, it's me, Ryan, and we're here again with a new gadget for you. It's something new from Cliptech. It's a Bluetooth sports headset called the Air Action. We're going to unbox it and show you what's inside and tell you all about it right up next. Check it out. So this is the Cliptec Air Action PBH312. So let's show you what's on the box. As you can see here, this is the front of the box. Uh, it shows you a little bit of the headset on a clear uh, plastic cover here. And at the bottom, it tells you that it's Bluetooth 4.0. Yay! Bluetooth 4.0 means it's going to be more energy efficient and better transmission of the audio. Or to, from your uh, receiving device or from your sending device, your mobile phone or whatever is sending through your phone. Um, it's sweat proof, which is good. It also has a uh, photo shooting remote control. Imagine that. We'll tell you all about that later. Now it's telling you here that the Air Action Bluetooth 4.0 mobile stereo, stereo sports headset. Crystal clear wireless sound wind noise reduction technology sweat proof for hours of outdoor exercise that's what you see here in front with the air action uh, name at the back on the right side of the device it's showing you the air action bluetooth 4.0 mobile headset again and it's showing us that it can be used for sports it's an icon here and it's an in-ear type stick on your ear hmm. Uh, it's compatible for iOS, Android tablet, PC, iOS, Android smartphone, Windows smartphone. So it means that you can pair it with your phone or your laptops. On the left side, you'll see that it's a multi-point, which is important for a lot of people who have two phones. Uh, 10 meter distance, A2DP supported, uh, MP3 and MP4 players, of course, uh, and wind noise reduction. There's also some um, uh, Apple Store and Google Play uh, QR marks. You can scan that. It'll probably take you to their website and give you more information about it. Or it'll take you to the different apps that you can use on your phone. Oh, it has an app. Apps. You can install apps So on your phone that, that'll work with this. So search for this cool show. Oh. It's the Cool Shot from Google Play and CSR Easy Click for the app, app uh, for your iOS device, which means this is for the uh, photo shooting remote control uh, function. So you can download those apps and use your Bluetooth headset as a remote control. How cool is that? So that's what you can scan uh, these QR codes for and it will directly link you to the download site. At the back of the box, you'll see all the explanations of the technology. Let me just run through it quickly. Bluetooth 4.0. Uh, latest Bluetooth 4.0 technology ensures a wireless connection as flawless as a wired one. There you go. With low energy technology, just as I said earlier. A perfect multi-point technology. The headset pairs easily with tablet, smartphone, and A2DP, AVC, RCP, HFP, HSP. Bluetooth enabled devices and supports to connect with two mobile phones at the same time. Communication range, it's up to a Bluetooth wireless headset function with a transmission range of up to 30 feet or 10 meters for total wireless convenience. Photo shooting remote control, user can install the mobile apps CoolShot on Android and CSR on EasyClick iOS. Well, it's used is a photo wireless remote control shutter for your mobile phone. Rechargeable battery, of course. Built-in rechargeable battery provides up to five hours communication time or music playback on a single charge. On-ear controls that you adjust the volume up and down, play and pause, 
switch tracks and answer calls. Built-in microphone, it's an invisible microphone, you won't be able to see it, with high performance sound quality for clear conversations. Wind noise reduction, remove unwanted noise during hands-free conversations, cleaning the audio for uh, far-end listeners. It detects that and tackles winds of various intensities and durations. There you go. So there is some noise canceling function more for the wind built in the device. Uh, it's also sweat proof. And it's showing me all the functions of the, the buttons right here, which we'll show you clearly later when we open it. And it gives us all the specifications of the device. Uh, Bluetooth 4.0 frequency range of 2.4 to 2.48 gigahertz transmission distance of up to 10 meters SPL of 93 dB plus minus 3 dB the dimension of the device is 59.5 by 12.4 by 34.2 without the earphone on uh, the weight is approximately about 15 grams so it's pretty light for a Bluetooth headset charging type connector is a micro USB Charging time of one hour. So now let's unbox this baby and see what's inside. There. So it's pretty simple bubble wrap and at the inside is also the manual. So let me run through the manual first. Well, it's basically telling you all the functions of the device and all the buttons which I just mentioned earlier. So I'm not going to mention them again. It just shows you how to, uh, this is the basic operation which I'll mention. Um, the power on, press the button until the blue LED turns on to power off. Press the button again until the red LED turns on. For pairing, uh, in the state of power off, press and hold the multi-function button about 6 to 8 seconds until the red and blue light will glitter. We'll show you how to do that physically later. And it shows you how to answer calls. Press the power button to answer a phone call. Press the power button again to end the call. Press the and hold the power button for two seconds to reject a call. And it can also allow you to redial the last number. Double click the power button on the Bluetooth earphone. This will allow you to redial the last number that you dialed. Okay. And if you Long press the plus and minus button, they will allow you to move on to the next track. Okay, so again, this is the box. What's inside? It's a manual and you'll see the Bluetooth headset. So this is what's inside. As you can see, There. It's pretty light. Wow, it's amazingly light. You know, this is important for those of you who really want to use this for sports. And there's a flap here for the micro USB port. You can close that. That's where you charge it. And this is the the buttons that I was mentioning earlier. The multi-function button here, which is actually the play button, the plus and minus button. To, for the volume and to switch between tracks. Okay. There you go. I see one thing I'll notice right away is how big the the tube is here at the back. And the reason for that is to give you to actually give you better sound when you're listening to music on this device. So let's move on to what goes inside. These are the different uh, earphone plugs that come with the device and another bag that shows you the USB cable to charge the device All right so on the manual it said to long press the play button to activate it into pairing mode so let's do that Oh, there's a blue light which probably signifies that it's on and there's a blinking light which signifies that it's in pairing mode now we're gonna pair it up oh there you go PBH312 right there at the bottom 
I'm gonna click that and pair it up. There you go. So it's now connected, as you can see. Okay, let me now try it on on my ear. I guess I'm guessing this goes to my right side and this one goes to my left side. Goes on the back. Wow. That sounds good. Really good. I'm using another brand which is a uh, Pantronics Backbeat uh, Fit and I would really say that the sound quality on this one is is a uh, very very good way better i think that you can you can claim the better sound quality because of the large tube behind the back which i said earlier which allows the speaker to bounce off more on the have more space to bounce off the sound on so what's good about this bluetooth headset is it's actually it has tangle free cable it's a flat cable and um, you, as you can see, the design of the in-ear is uh, pretty good. I like in-ear because it gives you a more uh, solid sound quality than just those headphones that just uh, hang there, especially for those people with uh, large ears. This, this will be very good for them. And the sound quality is more, more uh, it has a better impact on your ear than all the ordinary headsets that just hang on your ear. And I've tested running with this headset for about maybe 10 kilometers and it didn't fall off, not even once. So the hold on my ear is pretty good. Uh, I can't say that it's going to be good for you too, but it's better to try it out. If you, if you are the type of likes in-ear headphones while running, then this will be good for you. The nice thing also about the Cliptech Bluetooth headset is it's one of the most affordable Bluetooth headsets in the market. For sports there aren't much available in the market and if there are most of them are pretty expensive this one is below the 2000 mark I think if I'm not mistaken so it's pretty fairly priced okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take you to the app and uh, see if we can uh, actually use the photo uh, ability the photo clicking ability of this headset so for the App Store, the name of the app is called uh, CSR Easy Click. Let me see if the QR code reader that I have can read this and will take me to the site. So let's scan this. Let's take a look at this. If it'll scan. Okay, scan with the camera. There you go. Processing code. So now telling me it's directing me so it works now I'll go to the URL it's also showing me the battery life I don't know if you can take, get a close-up of that now that my Bluetooth headset is paired because of Bluetooth 4.0 uh, it, it also shows me the battery bar of my Bluetooth headset so you can actually know when your battery or the, or the battery level of your Bluetooth headset just by looking at this meter beside the Bluetooth icon on your phone. Okay, so there it is CSR Easy Click. Let me quickly install that. So the app has been installed and I put on the Bluetooth headphones again just in case I'm, you know, to, to replicate the scenario if you're running and you want to quickly take out your camera from your pocket or your phone from your pocket playing the music um, you can launch the app and what happens is it'll automatically pause the music or stop the music that's playing so do take note that when you launch the app to if you want to take a photo of something it'll stop the music that's playing so and then you point it at your subject for example this one my laptop you can press the multi-function button and when you press it there you go took the shot and there's my laptop right you can also it's basically just an ordinary camera app and you can also take the photo from the app itself or from the multi-function button on the Bluetooth headset now 
this doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna use this Bluetooth headset while running. Because when you hold your phone out to point at something while you're running, you can just actually press the camera button on the phone, right? Why use the Bluetooth headset when it's gonna be really weird when the button right, it's right there on your, on your fingertips. But if you, are, uh, if you have a selfie stick with you and you are using this on a regular day, then you can use this on a selfie stick and that's where you get the convenience of taking the shot with your Bluetooth headset. And all you can do is flip the camera up front and snap away like this. There you go. And incidentally, what we did while we were downloading the app on the <clears throat> iPhone, I actually downloaded the app as well here on the Android device. So now the app's been downloaded, we won't open it yet, but what we're gonna do now is we're, we're gonna use the multi-point technology and pair this with the Samsung Note 4 that I have on my hand. So let me quickly turn it off first. As you, as you can see, when I turn it off, there's that red light. It signifies that the device has been turned off. So now we're gonna put it in pairing mode again and long press the multi-function button until it blinks into pairing mode so now it's in pairing mode and now we go to the uh, settings of the bluetooth on my note 4 and scan for devices there you go so i'm gonna pair it with my pbh312 and it's now paired. So as you can see here, it's it's been paired and you can use it for calling and for music playback as well, or media playback. Now, just to touch a little bit on that, when you say media playback, you can use it for music and you can also use it for watching YouTube or watching movies. Basically, any media sound that will come out of your device will come out here, okay? so. Now let me go to the camera app, which we downloaded earlier. Start. There you go. Oh, it's got more functionality here. Uh, let's go to the camera, there you go. And I'm going to point this camera again at my laptop. And I'm gonna press the play button here. There you go, nice. So again, this functionality is good for taking selfies or if you wanna put your camera far from you and take a picture of you. Uh, let me give you another example of that. Let's go back, okay, to the app and I'm gonna switch the camera. And for example, I'm gonna put my phone there on my laptop and I wanna take a picture of me and the cameraman there you go so let me look at that took a photo of us hey Burr. so there you go that is how the camera app works and that is such a bonus from this very affordable bluetooth headset normally you'd have to buy a separate bluetooth clicker this one already has one built in in this bluetooth headset so it's kind of very uh nifty for a bluetooth headset now what we're going to show you is since it's paired with uh two phones of mine we're going to test and call someone so i'm going to call one of my uh, uh colleagues here so i'm now calling a friend of mine uh and there you go his phone's ringing so i'm going to answer Hello there, me. There you go. So I'm hearing myself now. So these phones are are actually calling each other. And now uh, somebody is going to call me on this phone. So th again, this is just to show you the multi-point uh, technology of this headset. So I'm getting a call now. So I'm going to let you hear the beep. 
See, there's a beep. That's the beep that you get when you get a second call. So I'm gonna answer this phone there and shift it to a Bluetooth headset. And here I am. I'm now talking with this guy here. So uh, it's the call is now connected. And when I terminate the call, I'm actually back with this other guy here. So again, uh, I'm just showing you that multi-point does work with this device. Um, you can answer calls from both phones and vice versa. Okay? And when you end the call and terminate all the calls, you can go back to listening to your music and enjoying it. So again, this is probably uh, one of the most affordable Bluetooth head sports headsets in the market. It'll last for five hours, so if you're running a 20K, 21K uh, half marathon, it'll take you there. If you can run your 42K within five hours, it'll last you through that as well. But on my 10K, it was flawless. I was happy. The sound quality was good. And like I said, the multi-point function is a bonus. And you can take snapshots with this as a Bluetooth clicker. How cool is that? With an 8mm driver in it, uh, with this large base, uh, with this large case behind it to give you that good sound quality, I think you get, uh, I think you have a bang for your buck Bluetooth headset in the market today. So this has been Ryan. Thanks for watching My Tech Island. And don't forget, guys, you can check out our episodes at our website mytechisland.com, our YouTube channel My Tech Island on Y101 FM TV via Y101FM.com and on my TV on Sky Cable Channel 30.